and now we will talk about UV scripts. Open UV editor. Mm, clear UVs. It clears all UVs. Just press it, and we can see that UVs are all here. This is useful when you create UV map for some difficult object and uh, some of polygons. UV mapped here, 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 and all dust is um, annoying you. You just reset all UVs in one place. Assign checker, quickly assign checker texture on the object. And you can drag tile, tile of checker. Also, you can start drag tiling with this button. UV to TGA just create UV snapshot in folder where you seen is saved with the resolution that you set here. Just press it and press open. It opens file browser with scene and UVs. You can see here stretches, but you can apply this script and it finds you the stretches and paint it in red and select faces that has very bad stretches. Script for finding differences in scale. Select best polygon and baddest edge. Just run script. OK. It paint in red our very small shell and very big shell. This painting in red is a vertex color painting and you can turn it off with this script, turn off stretches. Closest TV borders in. It finds uh, nearly, nearly UVs of one shell that near another shell. This may be useful in game dev when MIP mapping is working and shells must have some distance between them. They select this object and run closest UV borders in. We can see now script finds our nearly standing UVs. With this script you can find duplicated UVs. If you can see there is a UVs that places in same positions. You can select object and try duplicated UVs. Select one of the copy. Also you can find not duplicated UVs. Just run the script not duplicated UVs and you'll select not duplicated UVs. It may be useful when you get some model and you and you want to see what is what is mirrored and duplicated or what is not also you can use script that that measures distance between two uvs you can read about it here in 256 pixels texture there is a 8 pixels. In 500 it's 17 pixels. Also you can measure area of all UVs. Here we can see that UVs area is 32% of all area. With this script you can understand what map is good and what map is bad where many empty places is. Remember that this script measure all UVs and dupl duplicate it also. You can use script shell select. Select UV and press shell select. It select one shell of your UVs. Also you can use automatically selecting shell. Just select some UVs and you can move it, you can rotate it. You can scale it quickly. This script create planar projection from the camera with fitting 45 degrees. Just press it and we have 
simple planar projection made from strange camera from y axis if we want from x axis we put it near here and press planar projection also if you not want to fit you turn off this checkbox and create planar projection from any view cylinder projection also makes from camera just pause your camera to view cap of cylinder select faces or object and create cylinder projection also you can drag rotation of cylinder projection this script is for a quick using unfold function of Maya you can select faces and press unfold it automatically create planar projection and unfolding it you can select any of UVs and press unfold also we can select only edges of the object to set our new UV borders and press unfold here we can see a split that we are selected also you can use checkbox pin at example we can select UVs and grab it and with spin we unfold all other UVs of this shell Texel checkbox is for unfolding difficult objects when unfold must looking for right texel of all parts after scale what is after auto scale when you use planar projection cylinder projection of or unfold scripts will fit scale of your uv shells automatically here you can change value of auto scale or set it by selected object or uvs or scale your selected uv shells by this value again how to fit rotate to 90 degrees just rotate your UV shells to fit 90 degrees angles in your UV shells just select objects or polygons and and start the script it all rotates very nicely also you can select only UVs that you want to rotate and turn off checkbox shells and start script again it only on the selected UVs shell scale average here we can see a cube and scale of all its shells is different you must select all UVs and press shell scale average it scales all in one scale here script that cut out UV faces just select faces and press and cut out it it split all the edges here a line in line plus 1d unfold it's like unfold but in one dimension just select your reviews and press align you can see that here it is our long edge and here is too long edge now you can use unfold with spin to unfold other UVs and here we can see a ready UV map stitch shell it's like move and sell UVs but it also scales our UV shells you must select only some UVs on the base and it automatically finds another UVs just press stitch shells and all is ok move to other UVs in vertices it's auto snapper UVs to to another UV that is in this vertex you can do this by hand one two three or you can use script just select UVs and start script 
it automatically snaps in other UVs in vertex of this UV, of each UV. And now we can press unfold with spin. And UV map is ready. Move UVs in 3D viewport. It's funny thing, but maybe you can use it in really real situation. Just select UVs in 3D and press move UVs in 3D. And you can drag it. If you open UV editor, you can see that UV is moved really. You can move many of UVs also. It may be useful when you want to make some little tricky changes in UVs, like this here. Whoops. Shells to grid is make make grid from your UVs. You don't maybe want to move these many shells by hand. Just just run grid shells to grid and you will have nice grid. Or maybe you want to move these pieces together in one place. Just run shells to one place. All this will be moved here. Align shells like polygon look in 3D viewport. It align your UV shells to to fit what it like in 3D. Just select UVs and press align shells. We can see that this is our this shell and this is this shell and this this is shell. We can move it again to to try script again and now we use this camera this camera angle just select object and press align shells we can see that this shell is here and it here and this is here but it not rotates our shells just move it move one to another you must you must know how hard it to snap this to this um, um, here oh, 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 oh. Mm -hmm. we can use pivots or any else but now i show you some very simple way just select this uv and this and press move one to another it snaps here also you can use advanced just select advanced select any of uvs what shells will be moved then select one point and other point and press all uvs that you selected is moved with snapping from this to this scale zero vertically or horizontally vertically horizontally horizontally or fully scale shells by some value it's maybe useful when you in 3d viewport and you can you can select some face and press 09 09 mm -hmm. this scale is good okay or some much oh, oh here oh here this shell we can scale very 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 much okay menu move scale for non square textures it useful when you create texture with two squares at example you can create this UV map and after that you can scale it about 0 point in 0 05 horizontal. After that your UV map is ready. Or you can scale it back to horizontal to X. And you can move it by one left or right or up or down.